So Max Long, silky voice. You're still gonna be able to hear it. So maybe we might have to start uploading these things to fucking uh, like Spotify or something. So if I don't want to go too viral. You get what I'm saying? Cause my content is damn. My girl's blowing me up. Uh, you know girl problems are never gangster but here the women are so fucking fine that sometimes you just fucking suck it up sometimes you just fucking suck it up cause it's like these women man like at least I'm taking shit from a bad bitch I'm not a fucking fat floor. You know what I'm saying? So, we got a lot to talk about today, boys. We got a lot to talk about today. So, like I said, I get a lot of questions saying, should I take profits? Should we sell? Should we do this or that? No. Straight up. No. Cause this is nothing. Small shit to a giant. Most alts look like shit. Most alts are still down 80%. 75, 80, 85, some even 90. Depending on your entry. So you selling right now, you're not thinking big picture. And Max Long is here. Teach you a little song about big picture. You get what I'm saying? So, we're gonna rant on that a little later once I'm really in my zone. But first and foremost, we're gonna talk about NFTs on Inge. Because, again, there's been people talking about Inge on the timeline. Shout out, Bog. Zero underscore Ponley. He was talking about it like fucking weeks ago. I'm not gonna lie. But you have to, and this is where experience comes in. You have to learn to pick up on when it's time for a rotation. Because that might be equal or maybe even more important than being able to spot the next rotation is being able to identify when the time is right, okay? So a couple weeks ago, injective, it, w it didn't make sense for me, you know, based on my, my standard, my framework of when to decide to go to, a t to, to invest, I said, I think we're too early for the injective wave. But now the AVAX, the Solana wave ended temporarily. Keyword temporarily. And again, if you don't have an initial exposure, you guys were fucking asking me when dip, when dip, when dip. Dip is here. Take advantage of it. Most of these projects, fucking, let's look at it right now. Most of the Solana projects, Bonk is down. Let's look at Bonk, because Bonk, Bonk is going crazy. We're going to talk about Bonk. We're lots to talk about today. Lots to fucking talk about today. Let me tell you. But Bonk, man, Bonk is making me more bullish with how active the team is. Like, it's a meme, but they're not operating as a meme. You get what I'm saying? Like, the team is actually building things, and it's only a year old. It launched, like, last December. People think this is, old, this is not a new coin. It's not an old coin. It's a very new coin. So most of the people on Solana, they left before Bonk, they might not even know what Bonk is. A lot of people don't know what Bonk is. And you know why I'm so sure that Bonk is gonna send? Let me tell you. I've told like three people, like maybe more, but I'm pretty sure at least three that I've told about Bonk. Every single person, when I say just the word Bonk, they laugh. That's bullish. For a meme coin, that's the most bullish thing. You say a name, and people like giggle or chuckle or whatever. 
That's fucking bullish. And that's happened every single time I say the word bonk. And bonk is a funny name. Bonk is funnier than Shiv. Doge is funny too. Like Doge, like Doge is funny because like, it's like dog was like Doge and like, it's silly, you know? Shiv, Bonk is sillier than Shiv. Like top three silliest is Doge. And either Bonk or Pepe, but I'll say Bonk number two because Unless you're like an internet culture individual, like you're on chain, internet, like 4chan, Reddit, shit like that, you're not even gonna know why like Pepe is so significant. But if, again, you're out here, then yeah, it's different. So, again, Bonk, Shiv, Shiv, Shiba Inu, all time high is 40, 40 B, B as in boy, 40 billion. Okay? This is fucking 720. So, I'm riding. I'm riding this bad boy till at least twenty. If this hits, if this hits twenty B in Q1, I'm gonna take my dub because that's gonna be a lot of money for anybody, especially for me. It's a lot of money. So again, a lot of these coins are down from all time high. Crown all time high is like 97. So you're, you're down, you have like a good 15% off all time high entry. Shadow all time high is also 90 something. It's at 82. So again, damn near another 20% discount. Hero is all time high is 80. But reason hit like 19. So you got a good 20% again, fracked. Fract, by the way, every fract holder is going to give banks. Okay? So, you guys think only one guy is giving you guys Solana plays? I, I've been giving Solana plays for like a year. Maybe longer. Yeah, longer. It's like July. July of fucking 2021. So, anything... Listen, fract holders, if you hold one fract, you're getting 312 banks, okay? Banks is launching at a 12.5 million FDV. Based on, I already did all the hard part for you. Basically, 12.5 B will put fract at 15 cents. Like IDO, if banks do an IDO, it will be the equivalent of fract at 15 cents. So anything under 15 cents, you're getting a discount. Okay? Think of it like that. So right now you're getting 5% discount. Everything fucking adds up. FM hit 40 cents. Now it's at 30, so it was down 25%. So you guys are getting at least 20% on every Solana, on every max long Solana index fund. Every, every Solana token that's on Max Long's Solana index fund is down 20%. So don't fucking complain because it's not going lower. Weekend, if we dump on Sunday night, Monday morning, that's bullish to me. That's so fucking bullish. Because watch, tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday morning, watch what happens. And this is why having a show like this, again, I'm only 5,000 followers. Less than that, like 4,900. 4, I can say things like this, and it comes true. But when I get bigger, she's gonna change. So if you're here right now, I have to make sure you make money. If you're watching me right now, I have to make sure you make money. You know, like it's my duty. And no other content creator is thinking like this. Like everybody views their fucking, everybody views their fucking viewers as customers, and they want to f launch fucking tokens and DAO tokens and fucking stupid ass NFTs. I'm not doing none of that. I just want you to win with me. If you win with me, and you tell me, hey, like DM me, like yo Max, I made X on this, X on that. That's to me is worth more than anything. I'm an old head. I'm already good. I'm living my dream life. I don't need any more help. She's rolling. You know what I'm saying? 
This is a fucking Oyster Perpetual Day Day with a, a $250 leather handcrafted coat. Hugo Boss jeans. $25 white t-shirt. $150 jeans. $250 on the uh, jacket. Air Force Ones, $150. And the Rolex. I'm not even going to hurt your feelings what time was Rolex is. So I'm good. Now, I need to make sure the Max Long viewers who are tuning in, retweeting, liking my shit, subscribing, I got to make sure you guys make money. That's, that's my mission. And I'm literally fucking telling you what I'm buying. So let's go into this real quick. Let's go in, because I gave you guys my entire portfolio. No one's doing this. Nobody wants, nobody wants people to win with them. Me? I want you guys to win with me. It hits harder. This is literally my entire portfolio. <coughs> This is it. My entire portfolio. Minus liquid driver, but I don't recommend you guys buy that because I took an L on it. You guys don't need to take an L on that. So majors, Ethereum, Solana, Link. We're gonna talk about Link. We have been talking about Solana. You've been following me. We've had a great month. Turn on Solana. Fantastic month, literally. Ethereum, ignore the noise. Ethereum $10,000 is programmed. It's written in the white paper. If you read Ethereum white paper, it says it's going to, to, to 10K. So don't ever think it. Butterfly, go to DeFi. FXS, another, go to DeFi. The Grail Velo Hero. The Grail Velo, that's me just, again, D and Velo are me because I'm bullish on VE33 DEXs, bull market asset, that's my thesis. I'm not really chipping on price right now, although I would like Thena. Thena right now is like at 16. It's catching a good vid. It's breaking out. I'm not going to lie. It's breaking out, and I like seeing this because this is fucking overdue. You know what I'm saying? It's only a year token, a year old token. It's on VMV, but they ship like... This is why the chain you launch on is so important. And I don't blame them for launching on VMV because VMV is again, like in liquidity, it's top three. Hella volume, hella users, strong hold on the Asian market. So I don't blame them for that. Like, it, I, I can see why they did that. And again, the CZ situation is not bullish short term, but it is long term because they're able to stay in function. You know what I'm saying? Stay operating. So it's breaking out. Like this is very bullish. It broke out from here when it broke out to 15 and it broke out again literally like right now at 16. So I would like to see Thena at 50 cents by New Year's. You know, because it launched in January, all time high for Thena is $1. Okay, so the strongest coins like literally every fucking Solana token on this list hit a yearly high. Bitcoin yearly high, Solana yearly high, Ethereum yearly high. That's bullish. I like seeing that. I don't think these are going to hit yearly highs because Thena and I mean, Velo is a little bit older. Velo's, Velo launched in July of 22, right? Grail launched and Grail and Thena launched at the same time in January, okay? So Grail's not going to hit yearly high because... Again, Thena and Grail launched this year. They're not going to hit all-time highs in the next three weeks. But Grail's at a good level. It's up 3x from a month ago. That's good for me. This, I would like to see Thena at 50 cents. 5-0. I would like it a lot. However, I will settle for 25 cents. At least. Because 25 cents tells me it's up 
almost 4x from yearly lows and up 4x from like October or November. Yeah. So I'll take that. So 25 cents minimum for Athena and 10 cents minimum for Velo and everything will be on course. NFTs, Pudgy Penguins, you guys know the vibe. Pudgy Penguins, Max Long was screaming at everybody to buy when they were 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. I was screaming on the timeline, yo, Pudgy Penguin, just get one, just get one, just get one. And I was really like, my target for Pudgy Penguins was you buy at sub five and you sell at 20. Easy 4X. And you can still do that. That's, that's gonna happen quickly. It's already at fucking 12 right now. But now I'm like, now I'm like, yo, Pudgy Penguins are gonna be the face of fucking NFTs. Like, let's watch this. Cause this, the video they posted on Saturday is this, this is one of the most bullish things I've seen in my life. Let's watch this. Cause this is fucking crazy bullish. so fucking cute and they did like the little ice age thing with the spoil with the nut Graphics. I like I like the style they went with. That's bullish as fuck. That's crazy bullish. You know, like, you guys remember Club Penguins? If you were born, like, early 90s, Club Penguins is fun as fuck. So this is, like, an updated crypto version <coughs> of Club Penguin. And <coughs> you don't even need the NFT to play. So Pudgy Penguins is... 12V, Mad Lads... When we first talked about Pudgy Penguins, they were three and a half. And when Max Long TV first episode, they were four and some change. Like 4.4 something. Mad Lads. First Max Long TV stream, I talked about these bad boys. They were 47. Okay, 47 Solana, when Solana was like fucking $30. Okay, so 1200 let's say 1500 for good math. Now, it's at 200 Solana at 70 Solana. Okay, so that's 14000 Isn't that crazy? From 1200 to 14000 
in less than a month because my first stream was fucking November 13th. So you could say a month. Let's just say a whole month. You were able to take 4K and turn it into less than 4K. What am I saying? 70, no, 30 times 50 is 15. And now they're, yeah, so 1,500 to 14,000 in a month. What is that, like a, like a fucking 11X? Vong Bears, first stream. The first time I even talked, my second stream was about Bear Chain. And Viv Bears were like 1.4, maybe like 1.2. Now they're 2.6, so 2X. You guys already know about Crown. I've been, if you've, if you've watched more than like one or two episodes of Max Long TV, and you don't hold crown like do you do I do I not have any credibility because this was fucking this fucking 20 cents now it's almost a dollar again don't tell me like when you see me printing and flexing a year from now God willing inshallah don't ask me how I did it because this is my portfolio this is literally my, my, my portfolio literally Except for Beam and Pepe. I don't own Beam or Pepe, but those are just legit plays that, you know, like, it's not always about recommending my bags. If something's good, I'm gonna tell you like, yo, this is, this is good. And Pepe is gonna send election year. You know, Pepe has very clear catalysts, Pepe. Okay, Pepe is a frog that originated out of 4chan and it represents like right wing culture, MAGA culture, right? Election year, this and Miladies, they're gonna catch a vid of some type of association. Miladies have the Elon Musk card and Pepe is right wing MAGA card, all right? So don't overthink it. And then Beam, Beam is building an ecosystem of games. That's bullish. You always want to invest, like my game fight thesis. No one's talking about this on, on the timeline. And I know it's not because they don't know it, because this is not, a f I'm not coming up with anything and breaking. And there's not a fucking breakthrough idea. But people on CT, man, like, they hide information until the right time. I understand it. But this is not how we operate on this side. So Beam is building an ecosystem. Funded by Merit Circle, they're building a, like a gaming chain, and you always want to invest in gaming ecosystems. Like my thesis, next long thesis, I'd rather invest in GameFi ecosystems than just like one GameFi game. Okay, so Magic does that, and even though Crown is just a horse racing game, there's it's a multifaceted game. You know what I'm saying? You can make money through the PFP. The PFP went from like four Solana to like 25 in six weeks, right? So you can make money off that. You can make money off races, a lot of money off races. The most money you can make is probably off races, right? People are making like six, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000, minimum like $2,500 a race, and races are like three, four times a week, right? You can make money off selling the horse, off renting the horse, off breeding the horse, so there's it's, it's, it's multifaceted. There's multiple ways to make money with Crown. I like that. And it's on Solana. Tia and Shadow infrastructure. Okay, Celestia, very bullish. Very bullish and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Anything under $10 Tia for me is a buy. Because this is going guaranteed to 100. Fuck NFA. Like, you guys want to, they want to come get me for, say, for giving financial advice? Come get me. You're not going to give me. So fuck saying NFA. Buy, if you see Tia sub $10, buy it. Okay, because that's $100. And me, I'm holding Tia till 200. Because this is, it's not a user chain, right? This is a behind the scenes infrastructure play for other chains. It's a V2V asset, which is bullish. 
and you can stake, I'm, I'm pretty sure, the way everyone's speculating, that you can just stake Tia and you can get, okay, so yeah, 200. At current, current, this is not all-time high Solana, $200 at 29. So that's like a 15, 17x for this. Like I'm taking this. This is guaranteed. So anything, anything less than ten dollars Solana, anything less than ten dollars less to you, excuse me, <coughs> I'm buying. I mean, women here are so fucking thick, man. Like, so much ass out here. So this, your goal, like my goal is two hundred. My goal is two fifty, but let's just say two hundred, for math purposes. Yeah, two hundred. Hold this bad boy. Till 29, less than 30, 30 V. Luna went to 60 V. Never forget, Luna, 60 V, 60 billion, all time high. Yeah. So 200, you get two, you get 200 dollars, 200. That's 40 K. It's a good play, especially now. 200 200 T is like 200 times 10. That's 2 thousand dollars. Taking 2K, turning it to 40K. It's a damn good trade. Shadow, again. Let's do some moon math so you guys get a fucking idea of where this bad boy is going. Shadow is data storage, which is literally just Filecoin of Solana. Current all time high, still a fucking 17X away. All time high is 12. This is going to at least five. So cut this in half. It's like 40 bucks. You get a thousand, it's another 40K for you. It's, it's not gonna be that hard. You just gotta have conviction. NFT5 fract, again, every fract you hold, you get 312 when they do the branding, probably like January, February. PRTC, shout out the guys, most advanced NFT marketplace that isn't on Solana. The only thing better than PRTC is Tensor. And Tensor only from like a UX point of view, but from like a usage point of view, PRTC does everything Tensor can do and better. And again, it's only like fucking three million. And then the memes, Vonk, Pepe, and Big Cock. I did sell like half my cock. Um, that's because I was just up so much, I said, let me just take some of this and move it over to uh, Injective to buy NFTs. But I still hold like 30 AVAX worth of COG. Let me just say that. Because, again, we went over COG the other day. Built by Chicken NFT. And Chicken NFT is the only legit team that's native. Like you have Chicken and you have Trader Joe. Consumer dApps that people actually use. Don't don't say shit about Banky or GGP or none of that shit. Like, just fucking Trader Joe. That's all they got. Okay, but Cock, Cock can do something. So, I'm just gonna hold the rest of this to like a hundred million, or to ever, to whenever my stack is worth a hundred Avax. Straight up. So. That's that. Now, let's start the show. Now, the show can start. Oh, eight. Arshan's on my fucking team. He's out. All right, cool. I need to win tonight's in my fantasy league, and I need two other people. I need two out of three people in front of me to lose, but I haven't even checked it because I don't want to check it till tomorrow morning. Anyway, it's seven o'clock. Show can start now. Show feature presentation tonight is injective NFTs. Okay, so. A key thing during the bull market is rotations, okay? You have to always 
understand that rotations are how you make generational wealth, okay? Like, that's really how you can say, okay, I have 50K, my target is a million, that's 20X. You can get that off spot. If you have 50K in your portfolio, and you start today, like you took 50K, and you said, okay, I'm gonna buy X, Y, and Z. Just by holding a spot, if you pick the right tokens, you'll be able to hit a 20X. And 20X will get you to a million dollars. Guaranteed, you hit the right tokens, you just wait, you'll be able to 20X, I have no doubt about it. However, if you really wanna be like, okay, I'm gonna commit, cause it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna need to commit minimum 14, 16 hour days. Yesterday, I was, I was on chain from 1 p.m. until four in the morning yesterday. So that's 12, three, that's 15 hours. That's the type of hours you're gonna need to commit minimum for the next year. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of things, time, sleep, women, you know, you're gonna have to. But if you do it right, the reward is so massive because it's the only way you'll, able, you'll be able to time rotations. Because the key about rotations is timing, right? You've seen people talk about injective. I'm not the first guy. People have been talking about this for months, literally months. But you have to know, okay, when is this, because there's, there's retail, and then you have CT retail, okay? Keep that in mind. You have people like us, Max Long, Max Long TV viewers. We're head honchos, we're top. We're only, we're only behind whales. And not even whales, we're literally only behind like insider trading, like people that are getting like private seeds and DMs and things like that. Other than that, like we're 1B, okay? And then underneath us, you have crypt, you have CT retail, which is people that are in CT, they're not retail, they're not normies, they know how to, they know how to bridge, swap, they don't have a different thing, but they're just slow, right? They're just slow, they're always waiting for others to give them the play, they're not proactive. So you have, you have insider traders, you have us, Max Long TV viewers, you have crypto retail, and then you have retail that was here, but left. You get what I'm saying? People that, 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 either, had a, that either made, like my friend, like my best friend, not my best friend anymore, but he used to be, he was the only person that, that I was really like into crypto with. Like, he used to go to his house in 2017, and we would just like watch shit all day. But he, he ended up hitting a lick, a big lick, on Safe Moon, if you guys remember the uh, Safe Moon era, my friend fucking messaged me that night. He said, "Yo, uh, buy this thing called Safe Moon," and the process to me was just you had to like fucking buy Safe. You had to buy like VMV, send VMV to Trust to Trust Wallet, Trust Wallet go to another Dex. I said, "You know what? That's too much. I'm gonna fade." So I faded Safe Moon, right? But he didn't. He threw like 3K, 25, three K, twenty five, three three thousand dollars, right, in Safe Moon. And it ran up all the way to 250K. It's a lot of money for this guy, for anybody. But he didn't sell. And he says he cashed out 70K, but I don't believe him because if he would have cashed out 70K, he would have stayed. Because I lost 700K of Time, time Wonderland. And I, only, and I only sacrificed 40 something, 40 or 60K, I don't fucking remember. So he took an L on that. He got depressed. He said, fuck crypto. He's not coming back. So you have a lot of people. This is the majority of like, like crypto natives are in this bubble. Like, I want to say like 40%, like 40%. They had a bad experience in the last cycle because this guy joined with me 2017. He stayed the first cycle like me and him. In the second cycle, he had a bad taste. And he lost. And he said, you know what? I'm not coming back. I talked to him the other day. He doesn't know Arbitrum. He doesn't know Optimism. He doesn't know none of that shit. So that's, 
that's where we've started to bring some people back. We're not at retail. So again, you have insider traders, whales, you have Max Long TV viewers, you have CT retail, right? And then you have actual retail. So we haven't even, we've just started to tackle like CT retail and people that were here and left. So where am I going with this? I know I went off track. I'm going with this by saying, again, rotations, that's how you can take that 50K and instead of just waiting for spot and getting a million, you could take like, okay, I'm gonna take 5K from this 50K and I'm just gonna play rotations with them. Like I did with COG, with injective NFTs, you're gonna see me. I'm gonna try to take that 5K and turn it into 100,000. So, being able to realize, okay, rotation game, but at the same time, understanding when the rotation is actually ready. Because that's very important, especially in a bull market. It's the most important skill to have, is realizing when it's ready to rotate. So like I said, people have been talking about injective for months. I'm pretty sure Vog, zero underscore Ponley, was talking about injective NFTs like October. So it's like two months ago. But it wasn't the time. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't the time. Now I feel like it's the time. Solana season is cooling down, okay? I mean, to be honest with you, Solana's always gonna be like the main, the main play. From now until the bull market ends, right? It's gonna be Solana. But you have like little branches. And we had our first branch with AVAX, right? Cock, shit like that. So now that the K, I, I feel like personally, that's like starting to like wane a little bit. And the injective season now is in prime position. And I was able to get positive feedback on that thesis because injective is the only thing that was green today. Yeah. Literally a fucking 20%, depending on who you check. Okay? So, I think now it's ready. I think now, it's very, now is the time for this. And there's not much to do on injective. Like, literally. You really would think with, with how hard you see it getting shilled, you would think that there's shit to do over there. And there's not. Let me tell you. Yesterday, I, it fucking took me like almost three hours. Guys, watching. Almost three hours to bridge over to injective. Because I took, I, I threw five cock. You guys saw the timeline. I threw five, five AVAX into cock on Thursday. That five AVAX, when I sold, it was worth 55 AVAX, right? So an 11X. I sold 25 and I kept 30 that I'm just gonna forget about, okay? That 25 AVAX to get it over to fucking injective was a goddamn mission. Like a stressful ass mission, okay? So don't listen to anyone telling you this shit's fucking ready for retail. Like not even close to ready for retail, like no, Nobody in retail could have done what I did. Literally, not, not, not even trying to brag. It's like, it was a process and a half. Three hours. So summary, I had to fucking, I took AVAX, right? And this is before I knew. I took AVAX, I went over to Injective Bridge. Injective Bridge, unless you bridge from like Ethereum, Arbitrum and like some other fucking Cosmos chains. So I took that 25 AVAX, I converted it into Arbitrum. I went and I sent Arbitrum to Injective. That was a mission alone. It took me like fucking like 40 minutes to figure out how to do it, right? When I did it, I go over to Helix app, right? So you guys are gonna see Helix is number one. Like, there's not much to do over here, right? Like, this is fucking it. 
So this is top dog, Helix. So I'm like, okay. I give him my Arbitrum over there. I go to Helix to swap it into Injective. Helix only has fucking five assets. Okay, Wrapped Ethereum, USDT, Celestia, Atom, and Injective. That's it. So I said, fuck. So I had to, I had to re-bridge the Arbitrum back. So now I've lost like $5 of this bridging, right? So I sent the Arbitrum back to Arbitrum ecosystem. I went to Osmosis. I def and you could you could just deposit directly onto Osmosis. But that took another like 35 minutes, right? And then from once Arbitrum got to Osmosis, then you swap it into USDT. But I lost $30 on that swap. I don't know why. Maybe because low liquidity on Osmosis. So that's 750 USD, give or take. Became like 710. Okay, so I lost like $40 through swaps and bullshit. And I took that $700 and I just started buying NFTs. So we're going to go into that. But look, like, n there's nothing to do on Injective. Like, people, people were hyping Cosmos, Eco, O, Injective, Kuji, blah, blah, blah. And I always, I'm always replying to motherfuckers. Like, yo, like, you guys keep comparing Injective to, like, Solana. But there's not shit to do on this chain. Literally, like, you guys act like Solana was always dead. There's always, there's always been shit to do for the last, like, two years on Solana. It's just you guys didn't know how to do it. So it was on y'all. It was on the chain. All right? We've always had Gito. Gito's been launched for, like, two years. Same with Jupiter, Radium, Orca. Okay? NFTs, you can be about for the last two years. There's been shit to do. This is different. Like, the number one DEX by number one DAP by 10x in terms of TVL only has five assets. So don't compare this with Solana, like ancient to do. Literally. Lavana perps, no token. Black Panther, apparently, uh, if you stake some injective with their validator, you'll qualify uh, for the black token airdrop, right? Um, Astro Per. And Lavana, Lavana's perps. These two were on Luna. And they came over here. And then Eros Protocol is on 11 chain, so it's not native. And then neither is that. So there's nothing to do. But you can buy NFTs. And this is bullish because a lot of the NFTs on Injective are going to be doing airdrops. So we might be entering, you guys saw I quoted this tweet where a guy was saying that airdrop for NFT holders is the next, that's the next meta. I agree with that. I think, I think it's going to happen on Injective because like three on these lists, three on this list, just by holding it, you're gonna get an airdrop. So we're gonna dive into this. I'm gonna take a little piss real quick, and then we're gonna go into the main topic of the night. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Nice bathroom. Blow our nose a little bit. And Max Long TV episode 14. Main or co-main because today we have two main events because it's a big show. Max Long Mondays. You guys always know you're in for a big treat on Max Long Mondays. So we have actually have two main topics for the night. But this is number one. And like I said, bowl season, rotation is key. You have to be on your toes, ready, don't be lazy, spot the narrative, and be ready to rotate because that's how you maximize. If you got a low bag, three figures, four figures, yeah, even three figures, believe it or not, this is how you can really do damage is by rotations. And Max Long advice, timing the rotation is just as, if not more important than knowing what the rotation actually is. Because like I said, I'm not the first one to talk about injective. You've seen it on the timeline for the last two or three, maybe even four months. But it wasn't ready for CT retail, okay? Now it's ready. Now, the Solana thing is still hovering, always in the background. AVAX had this little week with cock, but it might cool off for a little bit. So now Injective has no competition. Now I think is the time, and even I might be like a week or two early, to be honest with you, but that's fine. Now is the time for Injective to have its time in the sun. So like I said, there's not many things to do on a D5 perspective for now. It's literally this, Helix, not a fan, only five fucking assets. Uh, Levana perps, haven't used them. Black Panther, this seems to be like the most, what's the word I'm looking for? The one with the most potential, Black Panther, because if you stake Inge with their validator, you'll qualify for their airdrop. Astroport, uh, Astroport and Lovana, I'll let you guys decide because I haven't decided yet. It's, I'm going to say this. These two were on Luna. They were very hyped on Luna. I'll say that. They were very hyped, very anticipated, but they got hit with that, you know, 9-11 style event. So you decide how you, how you want to play them. And then these bottom two are just, they're not native, so fuck them. So it's dry. On a D5 perspective, it's very dry. But the NFTs, there's something cooking over here. And a lot of these on this list are going to be doing airdrops. So without further ado, let's dive into it, okay? So like I said, fellas, it might be time we go play on Inch for a little bit. Let's fuck around over there for a little bit. Uh, complete guide on how to bridge. And what stood out to me, again, this is just what stood out to me. There's way more NFTs over there. I actually bought a couple more this morning that aren't on this list. But let's just go. All right, so first things first. This is the hardest part. How the fuck are you going to get funds on the injective? All right, so easiest way I found after the fucking diabolical events of yesterday is go to Osmosis click assets, and then click on deposit on whatever asset you want. It's gonna send it from your MetaMask or Ravi over to Kepler. So make sure you have Kepler wallet installed, right? So once you do that, it's gonna take about, it took me like half an hour to get my funds over. So don't, don't panic if it takes a while, but when you hit deposit, you should be able to scroll down and it'll show your transaction. So as long as you see that, you're fine. So once your funds arrive, you're gonna go to swap. All of this is happening on Osmosis, okay? So you go here, you click on swap, and then you'll just swap whatever asset you deposited for Injective, okay? Once you have Injective in Kepler, you're gonna go over to Project Protocol Talus. This is 
I think this is the only NFT marketplace there. All right. So it's not bad. A lot of volume, to be honest with you. Like, a lot of volume, to be honest. So, especially like the last, like yesterday, last 24 hours, a lot of fucking volume. Like, let's look at this. Volume, like 57,000 injective. And injective is like 20 bucks. So 50 times, 50K times 20 is a million. So a million dollars of volume in the last 24 hours. Right? So that's good. That's damn good. Um, activity. Let's look at purchases. Yeah, look. So this is all in 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 sales in 10 minutes. You know, a sale every, every 50 seconds. For, this is bullish because it's not easy to get on injective. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not easy. So this is bullish. If it's doing 20 fucking sales, every 50, like a sale every, every 30 seconds, that's, that's, that's good. That's damn good. So, a lot of these are gonna be doing airdrops. And the NFT marketplace itself, injected like protocol Talus, you're gonna get an airdrop two ways. Number one, by staking injective with the Talus validator, or number two, easiest way, just by conducting transactions on the marketplace. So very easy airdrop, take a couple ends, take like 10 inch, put five into this and five into Black Panther, and that's what I'm doing. All right, so, that's good because this, this is the one I'm, I'm most bullish on. I'm not going to lie. The quants. This is also like very primed to do damage. But these might be the same team. I think that's what one of my friends was telling me was that this is the same team. This one, quants, you're going to get an airdrop for holding one. But this is number one in terms of like marketplace. And they just got flipped in volume by quants. So these are the top two for sure, but this is a list, right? So you bridged, you got funds on injective, now you're ready to snipe, right? So number one, like I said, is Premier Ninjas. Um, number one, yesterday in terms of floor, volume, market cap, this is number one. Apparently this is a very OG team. And our is cool because injective like INJ like ninjectives like ninjas type shit I guess I don't know art art is cool you know pixel I've just seen a lot of this type of art like fucking if you remember on Solana there was like ghost kids Dow and but I could, I could these are definitely gonna it's good art, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's like crypto art, you get what I'm saying? Kind of reminds me of like, Schnoises too, on Kanto. It's like a mix of, of Ghost Kid Dao on Solana, and Schnoises on Kanto, that's what these remind me of. So these are number one, or they were yesterday, now it's Quants. To me, th these are number one, like, honestly, even yesterday when I read about it, I was doing my research, to me, this is number one. Like, I like this art better. And every holder can get up to 100,000 for quant airdrop. 100,000 quant, like not $100,000, duh. But 100,000 tokens for their quant token airdrop. Like, to me, these look cooler. I'm not going to lie. So I got two of these bad boys. Anyway, yeah, Premier Ninjas, that's number one. They've been running. So, if you're the type of guy, and I know I always recommend when you buy NFTs, like, buy a high quality one all the time. Can't go wrong, most of the time. Uh, toxic Aliens. So, this is 
a season two project. And what I mean by that is the originals are this. And now they're 20. They fucking were like literally like 12 last night. So this is the original team, right? Aliens on it. So this is like the best examples like Bored Apes to Mutant Apes. You get what I'm saying? Like this is the team. They operate like a casino on Injective where by just owning an alien nft you'll receive monthly royalties from the project's own casino okay so i didn't know that I actually bought their second season which is this toxic aliens because these look better to me am i wrong like these look these look fucking fire to me You get what I'm saying? Like, these look fucking fire to me. I'm not gonna lie. I like the design, the backgrounds, like... Obviously, it's probably like Fiverr art. They just paid some kid from, like, fucking Nepal to make these things, but... These look cool. It's good art. I like it. Like, it took me a while to find out which one to buy, so I bought two of these. And I bought mine for like five and a half. So floor's at five. Floor's at like three and some change yesterday, so. These look cool. If Injective really, really catches a vid and it ends up being the number one chain on Cosmos, like no other chain gets hyped up as much as injective in that Cosmos eco. Like maybe you could say now Celestia for sure, but Celestia is not a user application. You get what I'm saying? Like Celestia is not for like me and you. We're not gonna be buying shit coins on Celestia. All right? So it's literally injective. And then the next closest one you can think of is like Kuji. But injective seems like it has a massive lead in user base and market share. So these seem like a good YOLO play for me, you know, like four or five inch. If inch really, really continues to grow. And in the meantime, nothing else to do but buy fucking NFTs. Like, I think these can do damage. But I just bought these just because I like the art. I'm just going to be honest with you. I like the art on this, man. Look at this one. This one's fucking... These, these are dope, man. Like, these are fucking dope. So, again, yesterday, floor, when I did this, there were only, like, three inch. So, now it's, like, five. So, some traction happening. Number three is inch boys. These are cool, too. These, apparently, you can stake it and get a token called boy building a high risk high risk high reward gamified mechanism around boys as a utility token right so you know different art is you, I like when chains have their own. I don't like saying fucking like things like, oh, injective punks, injective board apes, injective pepes. I don't really like injective doge. I don't really like seeing that. I like when chains can curate an original collection. And these look, these look pretty cool. So I was gonna buy one yesterday for 10. Now it's at 12.7. So all of these cut a little bump, obviously with the max long TV stimulus. Your boy talks about certain things and coincidentally they go up afterwards. It's crazy. So yeah, these look these look dope. These look dope. I can see these I can see these doing damage a little bit on CT, like in terms of PFPs. I can see these doing damage a little bit. So that's that. 
and then mystery I think this might be like best like risk reward these might be the best I bought mine for like three and some change yesterday four was like 2.85 now it's 3.95 so they went up like one inch but it's not crazy like you're still early these I can see these catching a bit for two reasons number one it has like that eight like primates if you remember um not primates but on Solana there was these things called like uh stoner ape club these remind me of that because you can never go wrong with having an original monkey ape nft like i learned that the hard way i, I was like yo like can't keep buying fucking monkeys on every chain, but I was wrong. Right? Your best thing is to, is, is to buy the original monkey ape NFT collection on a new chain if you want to buy NFTs. So I bought this one yesterday for like fucking, I think four, four and some change. I'm bullish on this because it's the first, it's the only game five project that I found on Injective. This building that's close is this right and today they said that holders are going to get an airdrop so every holder will get airdrop pre-sale allocation raffles and in-game earn so that's bullish you know what i'm saying like competitive advantage game five airdrop monkey style art makes sense for me so I bought this one okay and then quants so 24 hours later now that I've had to like I've had time to sit and ponder my decisions this is the most bullish one I think for sure and with the market putting it number one now in terms of volume. Yeah, number one now in terms of these were fucking floor was like 10 yesterday. Now it's 17. So they have 50 percent in less than 24 hours. Right. So now that I've been in this ecosystem for a little bit. This is the most bullish one for me. Good art good team and let's read this so each quant that you hold so each one of these bad boys that you hold you're gonna get a max allocation of a hundred thousand tokens of cunt okay so cunt is only 0 0.0001 so it's only a 200x from no, what am I saying? 10x? 20x. It's only a 20x from getting to a penny. So you get 100,000, it goes to a penny, that's $1,000. Free. Free airdrop up to $1,000 if, if it gets to a penny. And this is launched on Mito. So Mito, we'll get into it later because that's going to be another topic. That's like a fucking injective launch pad. Very, very bullish. Like, Dumb, crazy, stupid, bullish, that one. So this is good. Strong team, good art. Art is being, art is giving me confidence by being one of the first ones that people flock to when they come to Inch based off volume. And it's gonna create a meme token, right? Cunt, you know? Cunt is kind of aggressive, but because it's a Q, it's kind of like silly, you get what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm bullish on this because of everything I just said. Who is your map teacher? <laughs> Max allocation will be distributed on a pro rate basis. Yeah, so you have two quants up to 200K, et cetera, et cetera. And art, art is good. A lot of the injective influencers that I follow, they have this as like their, their PFP. So 
for me, Max Long, I'm stamping this as the number one NFT to own. Quants. Good stuff, right? Damn good stuff. You're having fun doing this shit. Burb token. Okay, so Cunt is in position to be the number one meme token, right? We just talked about. But Burb, like to me, the word Burb is funny. You know what I'm saying? Like Burb. It's like bird, but Burb. To me, that's funnier than Cunt. But I'll, I'll let you guys decide what you think. Anyway, Burb is up there too. It's number four. This was at 13, so yes, 13, excuse me, 13 injective last night. Now it's at 18. And this is, I like, like this type of art, I've learned to never fade birds. It was Thug Birds, like, you guys remember Thug Birds on Solana? I faded that one hard. Even though it didn't work out, when I got in, it would have worked out for me because... I could have rolled that bad boy like the first cycle when it went to 40. And then it, it has like that Moonbirds. You get what I'm saying? Like Moonbirds, Thugbirds mixture with the way they put the name Burb. That's fucking funny to me. Like the word Burb is funny. Can't explain it. It just is. So. If I, if I like, if I had more funds or if some of the other ones that I bought and listed sell, this is number one on my like, this and boys, because I don't own boys. I had, I had a bid on Injective Boys. It didn't go through and I bought another quant. So this would be number one and then Inge Boys would be number two if I was looking to acquire any more for me personally. But yeah, this one is also having an airdrop and the word verb might catch a vid. It's gonna catch a vid. Like the word verb is just funny. And then last but not least, friends on in. This was just like a yellow play. Cause I went on an activity like this. I went on activity, right? And I went to like purchases. And I kept seeing fucking, not anymore though. Oh, here they are, friends. Yeah, friends. Yesterday, bro, I saw like fucking 20 friends. It was one guy who bought like fucking 25 friends in a row. I was like, what does he know? Does somebody know something? And it was at point four floor. Now it's at like, let's see. Now it's at 0 0.7, so it almost fucking 2 x from yesterday. These, I think these, these, these are catch up here, nothing crazy. Like, max super stupid bullish if Injective really catches a bid. Like, these could go to like 10. But that's if Injective really like, like if I really call Injective NFT season, these, these go like 10 inch. So this is like the best risk reward in terms of like low entry, not even one full inch. So like fucking $15 for this. I bought a couple of these. So, but this is just like a YOLO play. No value, no roadmap, none of that shit. We're just, we're just YOLO. -ing. So, I bought some more though. Let's look at the ones that I that I like bought today. I bought the Pepe's. I know I was saying fucking like injective Pepe's, like I don't like buying like unoriginal shit, but Pepe is new. You know, like Pepe launched in fucking like March. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't it doesn't have any boomers in it, so it's still new to most people. I bought mine for like three something and it's 
So I bought these just in case. They just minted yesterday. Like, just minted yesterday, right? So, if you're bullish on Pepe, and you think... Some of the art of these is pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the Pepe Frog is one of the most iconic branding. Like, the dude who came up with that, he better be a millionaire, at least. Because this was a goaded design, like... It just fucking looks good. Like, the frog... I would've never thought frogs were cool. But the way he designed it, like, it's fucking fire. So I bought one of these, just in case. And I bought Injective Kongs. I don't like how they all have, like, Injective in the name. Like, V original. That's how you really go viral. If you're an NFT guy, like, anytime, in, like, in my experience, when NFT launches with the name of the chain, it's mostly just, like, a rug. Most of the time. Because they're just trying to fucking get hype. You get what I'm saying? They're not, they're not here for big picture to make it a brand. So, I bought this one for like one and some change. I don't know, I just like, I just fucking, I like it. They're animated, they move, it's monkeys. So, I bought this for like one, 1.25 yesterday. I'm trying to find as many like sub two or sub three. Maybe even sub four. Cause I'm I'm not really sold on Injective or Cosmos. It's not, it's not that I'm not sold on Injective, it's just I'm not sold on Cosmos. You get what I'm saying? That's I'm not sold on Cosmos ecosystem. Cause if you've been here four or five years, you always hear this Cosmos fucking narrative pop up like every fucking ninety days. And it never comes to fruition. So I'm only doing this because I'm only doing this like just in case to be honest. That's why I, I just I just put profits in this. I didn't really put any of my stables. I just took like a, one like seven eight hundred dollars in profits of shit that I just made. And I just bought like eight NFTs. So just to let you know, like. I'm just trying to hit a lick on this. This isn't a long-term play for me. A bunch of the ones that I bought at like three, four, five, I listed it for like 15 to 20. I'm just trying to get like a five X, five, six X on these and call it a day. It was originally 34 injective. So I took 34 injective. That's what I started with. I bought eight NFTs. So if I can turn that 34, to 300, that's my goal, like a 10x. Take 34, injective, try turning to 300, and then I would just hold that injective because if I'm able to turn 34 injective into 300, into 300, that means there's, tra there's traction, there's users, there's a, there's something here. You get what I'm saying? And injective has been one of the best performing coins of this pump you know like you could say it's it is number three you know like behind salon and link it's number three in terms of projects that have really been leading this pump so again it's profit money for me so i wouldn't recommend deploying like i mean it's, it's up to you bro like do, do what the fuck you want to do but yeah, those those are my plays. So we'll see what happens. I think, like I said, I'm, I'm early, but not like a month or two early. I think starting like the end of this week, early next week, I should start seeing some traction on these if, if it's legit. Because as long as it's gonna cool down for a little bit, but it's only gonna cool down for a little bit, a couple of days, maybe a week or two. So, AVAX doesn't have an ecosystem that's ready to absorb users. Like, they, they haven't really curated an ecosystem on, on Avalanche to really like, again, man, like this is why I recommend everyone to be multi-chain 
go cross chain because you'll really be able to notice like, man, this chain is really advanced compared to X, Y, and Z. And that's why my, my conviction continues to grow on Solana because I go on the other chains and Solana, I'm just like, yo, like, Solana has everything. Literally everything that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis, I could do it on Solana. So that's, that's, that's one of the perks of being a multi-chain. Oh shit, Thena just hit 17 cents. On stream, 17 cents. 90 day all time high. 90 day all time high live on stream on Max Long's fourth Vegas bag. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Vonk. Vonk is now my third biggest bag. Isn't that crazy? Of a $250 investment, Vonk went from like having like 0, 0.0 something uh, exposure in terms of like my portfolio to now being like the fourth and having 5%. Best trade of my life. Like, not even close. So that's injective, right? Good chain, bullish chain. I think if injective is really gonna catch like a vid, now is the time. Now is the time. Market is number one on today. This and cock. Injective and cock are number one on the day. And Tia, fuck Tia's at 1135. <laughs> I don't hold any Tia. I was gonna take my Pyth airdrop and combine it with like some Solana shitcoin profits and buy it, but I needed, I was targeting like 850, but it hasn't dipped at all, like. It has not fucking dipped at all. The Cosmos tokens, man, like fucking engine Tia. But that's good though, that's confirmation bias. That lets you know like, you know like, maybe it is time to rotate. So, yeah fam, don't be lazy. Don't move slow. Rotations are about, especially now because it's still P2P. It's at the tail end of P2P, meaning like you're still fighting against CT heads, but in the future, rotations won't be as, you know what I'm saying, like time sensitive. But now it's very time sensitive because if this really sends like I think it is, you might have 48, 72 hours to get these type of entries. And if they're still at these entries after three days, then I'm wrong. Then either I'm early or I'm wrong. But. Yeah, man, that's injective. Get on it. Uh, this, this is why I took profits and brought it here because just in case injective really does end up doing damage, they're going to launch uh, a launch pad. Oh, let's do that real quick. Let me talk about that real quick. So you guys have all the information you need. Right? Mito Finance. So you saw that the quants are going to be launching their tokens via this. So Mito is the injective launch pad, like the injective team. I'd have to assume that they're associated with the injective team because they're gonna be launching the next wave of DeFi protocols on injective is gonna be done on this, All right? Let's read this real quick. The Mito Launchpad is now live for the first time ever on Testnet. Anyone who completed Mito missions can now participate in new project launches and bootstrap markets in just a few clicks. Yeah, there's a lot of, this guy Vogue, this is a mutual, he's in my GC, but regardless of that, like, this guy hits. Like, I know I hit, 
a lot, but this guy hits like a lot, a lot, <laughs> like an insane amount. You know, like this guy. This is a very good follow. I'm not gonna lie. Andy Mirza. So yeah, this is supposed to be the genesis of injective ecosystem. This is where a lot of the next yeah, mutual one page overview. This should this should do it. All right, so Mito is a groundbreaking Web3 protocol that revolutionizes trading, launch pads, RWAs, and real yield, real yield. Built on Injective, it's automated DeFi products, Mito vaults. Each vault on Mito offers its own unique trading strategy. Each vault is carefully curated and approved through governance, empowering users to access advanced trading techniques in a decentralized and user-friendly manner. Mito Swap allows users the best trading experiences with low fees. Mito Launchpad it will allow developers to fundraise for a project and instantly list it on injective exchange dApps in just a single click. Interesting. So this is gonna be like a one-stop shop. How do you get the fucking token though? Key features, curated vaults with unique trading strategy, automated and real yield generation, exclusive token launch on Launchpad. Launchpad. Join a vault. Huh. So maybe, where's the website? Because they're going to have to do an airdrop for a Mito token. You get what I'm saying? If it's like that. So maybe all you have to do, I don't have a fucking wallet on this browser. So maybe just take a couple, couple funds and lock it or put it in in their vaults I might do that because I just came across this like like last night but I wasn't on my computer I was just like on the phone so this might be the best DeFi play because a lot of tokens are going to be launching through this so if I was them if Max Long was doing BD for them anyone that that Stakes or locks or whatever the fuck should be getting a little some some. So check this check this one out, guys. Cause this seems like the hub. Sweet. So that's injective. Um, I'm on this right now. I think the next one to two weeks if i'm right we should see some action on these big action so i'm locked i'm loaded i'm exposed i'm allocated so now we just see what happens injective be right back